because the color palette overall was a little dark. And we were hoping for just a little more refinement in your silhouette. Danielle, unfortunately, it's time for the vampires to tear into your flesh oh, and yes. suck your blood. Bye, guys. Good luck. Bye. Violent access. Oh, 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 Thank you. Congratulations, Cookie Maker. My co-host and I think you've done a great job in round one. You mean this co-host? I'm right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take it from here. You have baked your way into the display challenge, where you're going to build an amazing display out of cookies. Amazing. Uh, I know. You know Halloween is finally here when night falls and you see twisted faces and fiery eyes everywhere. I'm talking about the biggest Halloween icon there is, the jack-o'-lantern. If anything can match the scariness of a silhouette, it's the ghoulish glow that comes from an expertly carved jack-o'-lantern. I hope you guys are ready to start carving, because in this round, you'll each build a 3D jack-o'-lantern entirely out of cookies. It's got to be at least six inches tall and decorated 360 degrees. Like an actual jack-o'-lantern, your cookie version needs to be spherical and hollow. The most complicated part about making a spherical cookie hollow in the center is structure-wise needs to stand. Yours needs to be made with two different flavors of cookie dough. I'm glad you mentioned flavors. Since the pumpkin is the world's most famous orange holiday icon, we've collected a bunch of orange ingredients for you to work with. Like dried mangoes, sweet potato, and curry powder. Please incorporate one of them into your cookie. Create the best jack-o'-lantern, and you're going to leave here with a trick-or-treat bag loaded with $10,000. Cookie makers, you have two and a half hours to make your 3D jack-o'-lantern. Get to it. Oh. <laughs> here goes nothing. All right. I grabbed the mangoes because I'm Mexican. Mangoes are part of our life, like 24-7, and I eat that with chili white pound. First thing, I need to break down the dry mango so that it spreads through all the dough. I'm going to put a little bit of chili lime powder onto my mango paste. I am making the chili lime mango cookie. The dough looks amazing. So with this dough, I can make the base for the jack-o'-lantern. One more cookie and I'll be good to go. For my second dough, since Jet liked my warm spices on the first round, I'm gonna use smoked chipotle powder. Ben, what is this dough you're working with? Are you scared of spices? No, I'm not. Okay, because this is gonna have a kick. Oh. This is a smoked chipotle gingerbread <gasps> Chipotle cookie. gingerbread? Yes! Okay, so what's this pumpkin gonna look like? It's gonna be the first pumpkin that you see when you go to a pumpkin patch. My goal is to make a realistic as possible car jack-o'-lantern. Based on the first memory I have with a pumpkin patch, I remember this giant pumpkin with a little cat on top. And there was a sign telling you where you are. And I'm gonna carve the face of the jack-o'-lantern and put a line inside. Because if you don't put a line, that's just a pumpkin. So what are you doing here? I'm going to cut my dough and place it on top of my bowl. Uh, it's not working. It might be a little too dry. Are you going to have to remove the cookie? No. I'm adding a little bit more molasses and a little bit of vanilla to make the dough not so dry. Oh, is that working? So far, yes. Okay. It's going to be tough. But the plan is to make half spheres to make a hollow spherical cookie, hopefully. For the structure of my pumpkin and the sign, I'm going to use the gingerbread because it's going to give me that stability that I need. Now don't tell them, but I'm freaking out. For my orange ingredient, I take sweet potatoes. Sweet potato and cinnamon are classic fall flavors, and who doesn't like chocolate? Isn't the roll with chocolate the more the merrier? 
For my first dough, I'm going to make my cinnamon chocolate sweet potato cookie. I love sweet potatoes. Do you? I make a mean sweet potato casserole. Yay! Yeah. Okay. What's your second dough going to be? I'm going to use my vanilla almond sugar cookie dough. I've made it a million times, and I'm going to go heavy on the almonds to give it that little extra flavor. I'm going to bake the cookie dough on top of the dome, but I have to make sure the dough doesn't stick to the dome. Making a round 3D cookie is extremely hard. First, I'm adding the flour on it so that it doesn't stick to the dome when it's time to pull it off. Then, if I put my cookie dough on top of the mold, I can get a nice round shape. Okay, so what's this pumpkin going to look like? Scary in the front, fun in the back. <laughs> I'm going to make a two-faced pumpkin because it's a tribute to my kiddos. My son is all about the blood, guts, and gore. So the front of the cookie is going to be a little scary. I'm going to carve the mouth and eyes. And he's going to have stitches. He's going to have a knife in his head. And then the back of the cookie is going to be a little bit curlier. I'm going to do a nice big flower crown. And I'm going to give her some cute red lips because my daughter is all about the cutesy side of Halloween. The knife is going to be the chocolate sweet potato cookie. And then the jack-o'-lantern cookie is going to be the vanilla almond sugar cookie. I'm just hoping they love it. First, I have the chocolate dough, and I'm going to do some like marshmallows in there, somewhat like s'mores vibes. My inspiration really comes from Halloween memories with my family. I don't want the chocolate to overpower. So a little bit of a moderate chocolate cookie with the marshmallow bits. I'm going for campfire vibes. Just rolling out my dough. I collect cookie jars, so I'm making a jack-o'-lantern cookie jar. And I want a menacing jack-o'-lantern. I want fangs. I want a creepy mouth. And when you take the lid off the jack-o'-lantern, there's going to be little cookies inside. Now I'm going to start on my second dough. I see Ben's also using mango, but mine is so different. What I'm going to do with the dried mango is put it in the food processor with my sugar, and I'm going to blast that together to create a mango-y sugar. I am making a sweet corn cookie and adding the mango to it because I've had tacos with corn and mango, so I feel like it's going to go together. It's essentially a sugar cookie recipe, but I eliminate some of the flour and replace it with cornmeal. Stack all these cookies together eventually. My competitors are using molds, but for this, I'm going to use cookie rings and I'll stack them up so the cookie itself kind of creates that spherical look of the pumpkin. Nice and happy little pumpkin. I am carving these all in the bottom because I want to have a light inside this jack o' lantern. Next thing, I am carving triangles for my eyes, a little nose, and a little crooked smile with one tooth. And I have to be really careful because carving into it, it's gonna make it super delicate and it might be break in half. <laughs> so, yeah. Now it's time to do the most delicate part of this process, gluing these two pieces together with chocolate. <laughs> if something happens to this cookie, there's no way I can start over. This is the key element. It's the whole jack lantern. No, 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 no. It broke. Ben's dough just broke. <gasps> I think he tried to adhere it, probably put some pressure, and then there was just a weak place that caved in. The chipotle and gingerbread, it was just too dry. Don't do this to me. DreamsResorts.com with savings of up to 40%. I was taking my antidepressant daily, but I would still put up a brave face to hide feeling depressed. My depression made me feel like I was stuck on autopilot. Then I saw something that got me thinking. I'm still feeling depressed. 
What do you think about adding Rexulti? It could help. When taken with an antidepressant, Rexulti was proven to reduce depression symptoms an extra 62% compared to the antidepressant alone. So you could stay on your current treatment and keep...